Hello, my loves. I'm Laurel, and welcome to Laurel's Moon and this bitch. Join me as I read you your motherfucking lives, baby. So, thank you to everyone who has liked, shared, commented, subscribed to my channel. You already know I appreciate each and every single one of you motherfuckers. Yes, I do, baby. And if you need to get a personal reading from me, make sure that you hit that description box down below. Check out my website, laurelsmoon.com, for any other magical purposes and deviation workings and things of that nature. So, spirit, you are welcome in to this Sagittarius reading. You must sage the cards for all of my Sagittarius gods, baby. You want to hit this, baby? All right. For some of you Sagittarius, um, we're in your moon, okay? Um, for the next few days, I have not forgot about you guys, but we're going to find out what's going on um, for the rest of October. What's going on in your love life and in your relationships. So we're going to go ahead and get my old handy dandy ass notebook. <laughs> oh, I think I'm going to have to retire these cards, honey. So let's see what's popping, Sagittati. What's going on with you overall energies for the rest of October? I'm going to get these believe in your own motherfucking magic in this bitch so very first card is protest start a revolution oh shit and nostalgia focus on the here and now some of you guys definitely could be dealing with having to have some sort of confidence or it's going to take some practice for some of you guys to bring in your confidence so I feel like um, for a lot of you Sagittarius you might have this vibe or this feeling that certain things um, might be going your way or needing to go your way. I feel like um, some of you guys might have a lot going on in the background. You got protests and start a revolution. So this could be something different that you're needing to start all together. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and jump into this shit. I feel like some of you guys could need to focus on the time that's either now or the future. One of the two. So, Sagittarius in this motherfucker. Let's see what's popping. Very first card is the Eight of Wands. So there's going to be a lot of communication coming in for the rest of October. I'm seeing that for some of you guys, it's going to take, um, you know, something in a situation to communicate. Or altogether, there's going to be some some sort of direction where things are getting ready to go. I, I'm getting that some of you guys have a lot of aim here with this Eight of Wands altogether. So. This could be communication. This could be messages as well. Oh, we got the Ten of Pentacles here. Uh-oh, it's revealing itself. So there could be some home matters. And I'm getting family matters in this motherfucker. Uh oh, that was my show, y'all. Ten of Pentacle energy here. So there's a lot of um, security and balance. This could be dealing with home or just uh, matters altogether with security. And sending out messages of some sort or getting some sort of phone calls when I'm picking up. For a lot of you Sagittarius. So let's go ahead and find out what's going down between you and your partner. Like I said, there's going to be a lot of communication. Either between you and your partner. This could be people of the past. This could be new people that you're dealing with. With this starting a revolution. So here we go. Sagittarius. For the rest of October. In love. Very first card out is let your friends help you ask for and accept support from others. So you need to be reaching out to someone that you know is either going to give you some good advice or you need to talk to a friend or get a lot out. For some of you guys, you have you deserve love and you are lovable. So Sagittarius, there's somebody here that's loving on you, baby. But I also see that there's some passion so this could be somebody that you humping on and somebody that's giving it to you real good, Sagittarius. But I feel like you have some unrequited love for some of you guys. It's just not enough for this person or for you to keep things going in a relationship. 
Okay, it could be a separation that's coming up for some of you guys, but I'm seeing that you're going to have to stay optimistic on how this outcome is going to be between you and your partner. So let's see what's up. I already have the two of cups when I split the deck. So there's a serious soulmate or relationship connection that's going on. Some of you guys uh, might feel as though there's an annoyance around you. Five of sword energy here, very first card coming out. So I get that somebody is definitely mentally um, not really feeling a vibe or a situation. This could be because of the partnerships. This could be a lot of defeat as well. With that five of swords here, I'm also getting for some of you guys, it could be because of a third party situation, family, friends, sister, mother, brother, okay, daughters, shit like that. But I'm picking up with the page of pentacles in a relationship. Somebody's needing to deliver some sort of message here. Empress, Ace of Pentacles, okay. Eight of Pentacles. I'm getting that somebody doesn't have enough or there could be some finances or some sort of separation and distance that might be a very big ordeal. I'm getting that uh, for some of you guys, there's definitely somebody that's around that you feel they're not really giving all of their uh, attention or their time. This could be Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio here. Here you go, honey. So, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio is definitely here as Sagittarius. You also have uh, Scorpio with this tower. There could be some sudden changes and shit that's happening. We got all kinds of mystic things and things that's going on in the background, y'all. So with this tower energy, it could be a whole bunch of changes and whatnot and catastrophes and things. Okay, movement that's happening. I feel like there's a definite shakedown. For some of you guys, it could be because somebody's put their foot down. I get that some of you guys might be in balance or there could be somebody you feel you have to question because of their, they're bringing a lot of imbalance into your life. So... Like I said, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius uh, also could be torn energy and Libra here. But I feel like there's a lot of things between you and this person that might be, uh, it's, to me, like it's a burden that you guys are carrying for some of you Sagittarius. But I'm picking up, there's a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. And yeah, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn here. Somebody is making their move towards you. It could be two different energies here, but I feel like... They're ready to give some sort of handout or there could be some sort of financial uh, situation that's going down. But I'm seeing there could be contracts or some sort of contract um, that you guys are in. It could be um, you guys are business partners or there could be a business partner that's implicated here or some partnerships. Six of Pentacles. Two of Wands. So somebody's definitely in two minds right now, Sagittarius, about which direction that they're going to go or if there's a lot of um, things that have taken place that you can't take back. You can't undo the the wrinkles in the foil. All right. So let's see um, what's coming up. What's new? Some of you guys definitely could be dealing with traveling as well. Or like I said, traveling by car or um, something about distance or something about, um, it could be a long distance relationship. Let's see what's new in this motherfucker for my Sagittarius. We got cards flying. We got the Magician here and also the Two of Swords. So you could be dealing with an Aries. All right. Also Gemini and Virgo. This could be in there, Sun, Moon, or Rising. But I see that somebody's indecisive right now. It's a lot of trickery for some of you guys. There could be like two different people, two different energies that this person might need to decide on, Sagittarius. Um, but I'm getting Page of Cups here, also Four of Wands. This could be a marriage of some sort that might be coming up that's new, okay? Or making a combination together. I feel somebody lives far away, okay? But at the same time, there's this King of Swords here, somebody who's very stern, Okay, or somebody who's putting their foot down in a situation. It could be, like I said, uh, somebody feels manipulating a situation. Also, somebody you feel like they're having to take their power back or somebody could be taking their power back, whatever the case may be. But 
I'm seeing that somebody's really non-committal here and there could be some disagreements or somebody's going to have to fight for a situation with the five of wands. Yeah, emperor energy and also justice once again in this deck and chariot. So, Cancerian is in the building. Also, Eddie's with this emperor once again. So, there's definitely a strong Aries here. I feel some of you guys definitely could be dealing with a marriage or some some something that was definitely not right that someone has like dug into with this justice energy here or there was an action that was taken. Um, it could have been, like I said, there's a lot of world travel or just a lot of different things culturally that might uh, be separating you two. But I'm seeing that there's a new action that somebody's having to analyze first before they do make any moves. Seven of Wands here, somebody is really guarded as fuck. But with the Chariot energy here, like I said, somebody's getting ready to make some moves. Two of Cups. So there could be some disagreements between you and your partner or just something new altogether that might arise where you might feel guarded or you might feel jaded towards the situation. But I feel um, with the Chariot energy here, Sagittarius, some of you guys definitely could be dealing with a Tauren. Also, like I said, uh, Libra. Magician here, Aries for sure. So let's see about possible outcomes for my Sagittarius towards the end of the month of October. We got the Eight of Cups here, the Five of Pentacles. Somebody's going to try to come out of the cold, all right? It might be some arguments, disagreements that take place. Somebody's definitely dealing with some battles of confidence with the strength energy here in reverse. But I'm seeing with the Ace of Swords, um, somebody's either blocked off their communication because they weren't confident enough to complete a situation or a relationship. But somebody's going to try to come out of the cold towards the end of the month. And I see that with the Ace of Swords here and the Nine of Swords, somebody's really worried or has a lot of anxiety, uh, a lot of anxiety-driven energy here. Uh, but with the Ace of Cups coming out, also the Ten of Swords, like I said, there's an ending that's happening that steps into a new phase. Some of you guys might have a lot of regrets. It could be towards a Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. All right. Or this person might have a lot of regrets towards you, but they're going to try to work on the situation. Ten of Pentacles once again. So I feel this person's guarded or somebody keeps doing the same repetitious shit over and over again. Death energy here in reverse. And it's kind of like somebody's made an ultimate decision, like either they're going to choose this relationship long term or they're just not impressed with what's given. But I see somebody is choosing up on a long term relationship for sure. Now, this could be a struggle for some of you guys or it's always a constant battle okay, or some sort of eruptions or something like that. But I do see a lot of you guys are going to take things with a grain of salt. All right. So I do see long term, but at the same time, some of you guys could be suffering from the same old karmatic energy. But I do feel like there's some spine that's going to be taking place. All right. Now, you know, we're in Mercury retrograde. So a lot of shit in communication wise might be bent backwards or it's all kinds of little weird shit that's happening in the universe. But I feel somebody's going to be watching and spying or there's definitely a lot of um, activity online that's going to be taking place. You might have to let this person go, but... I feel um, you're going to have to really get some guidance or somebody, a counselor or something like that to really um, guide yourself into a new direction. Now, if you're a, a manifester yourself, I feel like some of you guys have some research that you're going to be doing with the Page of Swords here. And also, I feel like there's a lot of thinking or overthinking. Okay, that's happening. So some of y'all need to just chill on that motherfucking shit. You got loyal heart and all that glitters is not gold. So some of you guys, you know, might be envisioning certain things, but it's not really like how it is. I'm also getting some of you guys might have different image of someone or of your partner. And you might just be at that, you know, place in the road where you're going to have to make a decision because you got new life coming up very soon. So like I said, with those tens, it's something that's getting ready to happen or start over a new phase that's popping. But some of you guys are overthinking or definitely snooping or somebody's snooping in your energy. Um, that you're going to have to watch, especially if that's what caused some sort of arguments or disagreements altogether. It could be very toxic if you keep digging into it. But I see that with all of the tens, you're going to start over. All right. So, all right, my loves, I'm going to get on out of here. If you need to get a personal reading from me, hit that description box down below. You already know what to do. Check out my website, LaRoseMoon.com, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.